there's a fish. What is this? Oh, don't go under the boat. What's going on everyone? So I'm out here this morning and I have a live well full of white bait in there. I threw the net this morning a couple times, got a live well full of white bait. And I wanted to come out here and just try and target some redfish and snook using the using the live bait. So got my 3000 set up right here. This is a Pen Clash 3000 on my Bull Bay 7.6 medium power stealth sniper rod on their 15 pound braid for a leader. I have a very long leader right now. As you'll probably see, the water is very clear. So I don't want to spook the fish. So I have like a three, three and a half foot section of 25 pound floral leader, cutting a little close for the snook, but I would rather get bit than, than see the line or anything. Then I got a 2-0 circle look right here. Just gonna grab some of these live baits and nose hook them. Cast them up here, right next to the island, uh, either fishing the mangroves or the oyster bars or something. Don't really know, but we'll see how the day goes. It's mostly thread fins in here, but there are some pilchards. Greenbacks, white bait, whatever you want to call them. Gonna take this little dude, this is a little thread fin. Hook him right in the nose, right there. Right through the nostrils. And it'll stay on pretty good. Take him up here, and I'm just gonna pitch him up here by this island. There's a couple little oyster bars, a lot of uh, schools of mullet swimming by. Seeing a couple small snook, but I know that there's some bigger snook here too, so. Let's see what we can get. Got him. <laughs> little snook. <laughs> little tiny guy. Oh, it really wasn't paying attention. And then he popped it right on the surface. All right, that's a good start. Woo! Oh, he popped off. That's fine. He was like 18 inches. Let's get another bait. Check if he, oh, they're still blowing up on it. The bait's over there. Another one just blew up on it right by the mangroves. Oh, one got it. Nope, nope, nope. I had my bail open. There we go. That's a little bit better one. Come on. I like just opened my bail to give him a little bit of line and he ate it and I couldn't close the bail. That's like a low 20s. All right by the mangroves again. Come here. Okay. You don't need to act big. Come on. On the higher part of the tide, the snook and redfish are probably all stacked up right in the shadows of the mangroves, just ambushing bait as it's going by. So you want to try and get your bait over there. Here he comes. Oh yeah, that's a decent one. Come here. It's kind of in the shadow right now. Yeah, that's a solid little snook to be the first fish that we actually get to the boat today. Probably like 22, 23. Get a quick measurement on him. He's, I don't know, he's, he's 24. Little 24 inch snook right there. Beautiful fish. Let's get the release on him. It's right up by the mangroves. He was hiding underneath the mangroves and then just came out, slowly came out and just piped it. They like to just suck on your thumb until they're ready. There he goes. All right, gonna start this day throwing a little DOA cow, the Arkansas glow color, 1 8 ounce jig head. Got about a two, two and a half foot section of 25 pound leader. Really the goal for today is to try and get some snook to add to the video from the other day. Try and show you the two different techniques using live bait and artificial. I'm also not gonna complain if I get a redfish. All right, let's go try a different spot. I'm actually gonna go to the spot that I got the snook in the first part of the video on the live bait. See if we can get some artificial there. Tried going to that island that I was at the other day and there was already three boats at that spot. So I'm gonna try this island. So the tide is going down. There's like a deeper bit of uh, rocks and oysters and stuff right here that line the outside. Plus some grass 
that leads into it. And really on low tide, I feel like the fish kind of funnel here because there's usually a lot of bait and stuff. So let's see if we can get some fish here. The wind's coming from the north. So I'm really trying to focus on fishing like the north side of these spots. You want to fish like the wind blown side. I don't know why. It just seems like the fish really like to stack up there. Maybe because the wind's just kind of pushing everything to them. It's kind of like minimum effort for them. So we'll see if that strategy works out. There's a fish. Feels like a trout. Looks like a nice trout. Come here, dude. I'll take you. Yeah, it's a solid trout right there. Come here. Yeah, that's a nice trout. Like 19 inches probably. Come here. That's a good way to start today. Oh, uh, he might he might be pushing 20. You're solid. He choked that bait too. Yeah, that's a real nice trout. That's a solid fish. Get that bait out of you. That's a solid trout. Let's see. Uh, right there. He is exactly 20 inches. 20 inch trout right there. Awesome. Let's see you, dude. There he goes. Let's see if we can get some snook redfish now. Just kind of bouncing it right off the bottom. Like I've said in the past, you really want to make sure on windier days, especially like today, that you position the boat in a way that you're going to be casting with the wind. It makes it easier, obviously, to cast a little bit further, but especially when you're using like artificial, when the line is like straight in front of you, you get less like bow in your line and you can really feel any like little like nick or anything that happens on your bait. And I just got cut, like cut clean, which tells me there could be some mackerel here or something or bluefish, mackerel or bluefish. That's really the only two things I would do that unless a shark ate it. All right, just tied on this lure, sinking twitch bait kind of thing. Kind of like a mirror Anything, whatever just cut me off will definitely eat this too, so. There's a fish. What is this? I'm gonna drag real loose because I never changed out the hooks and they're real weak. Come here. Staying down. Is this a red? Where are you? I'm guessing red. What are you? Another good trout. Oh, he's barely hooked too. It's like another 20 inch trout. Just got the back trouble. Come on. I don't want to net you. Don't want to take the slime off you. Come on. Come on. Some big trout around this island right now. Come here, dude. He's barely hooked. He's got one hook on the back treble. Got him. That is a, honestly, probably bigger trout. Let's go. Look at this. See what I mean? Even that amount of drag bent out the hook a little bit. I needed to change those hooks. Came right out. That is a solid fish. Let's get the measurement on him. Oh yeah, that's a 20 and a half inch trout right there. Switch him around. Beautiful fish. Two 20 inch trout. That's sick. See you, dude. There he goes. Awesome. Where are those fish when I'm trying to get like a trout for a slam? Every every time I'm trying to get like a trout for a slam, I get like a freaking 13 incher. Yeah, I really need to switch out these hooks. I thought I did. Like I mentioned switching them out in the the video where I really like was using this lure, but I don't think I ever did because these are rusting and 
bending out on trout. So after today, I'm definitely gonna switch them out. But for right now, I'm just gonna play everything with light drag. I'm gonna lift the power pole up and let the wind just kind of drift me along the edge of this island. Just move a little bit. All right, we got some new water and we got a wasp. Get out of here, dude. I think I'm gonna go ahead and put the, the cow back on. Fish the bottom a little bit more. All right, got the cow back on. This allows me to work the bottom a little bit more. Got one. There we go. What is this? I think this is a little red. Oh, it is a red. There we go. Came right on the edge of the, the grass over there on the sand. Come here, dude. Awesome. It was really up shallow in like a foot of water. There we go. He's got a bright blue tail. Come here. Pipe the cow right there. Oh, don't go under the boat. Come on. Come on. Why are you bulldogging me right there? Come here. Yeah, that's a solid fish, actually. I didn't know I had one at first. There we go. Right on the cow right there. Up shallow. Let's get a measurement on him. 21 and a half inches. Solid redfish right there. See you, dude.